Hi everybody, and welcome back to the She Shed. Today we are going to be making a two-tone bag. And the colors that I will be using is this black and this purple. I am making this for a girlfriend, so I hope you are going to be able to see the black okay, but please forgive me if it is a little bit of a struggle. I will do my best, but this is specifically the colors that she would really like, especially the purple, she's a purple freak. Um, okay, so what we are using is, for the bottom, this is a thicker yarn, and I want that thicker yarn to, because every time you put a bag down, it might be um, rubbing, and also for the straps. So we're using this yarn, and this is called uh, Boom Plus, and uh, it's by La Mia, which I got from, both these yarns I got from Hobium, and this other one is Basics Lauren. You will need a 5mm hook. This is my Furls 5mm hook and bear with me while I see what the number is. It is a H. You will need a yarn needle, a pair of scissors and stitch markers. If you do like our stitch markers we do make these and uh, you just check us out on Facebook. Alrighty, let's get this project started. I did originally make the recording with the black band at the bottom of the bag. However, it was really hard to see it and when I looked back at the videos. So I'm going to re-record it but using this gold. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to see the what I'm talking about when I go through how to do the bottom. But no, the bag is not going to be gold. It is still going to be black and purple and uh, but I want to go through the bottom of it because obviously that is the most important part but using a color that you can see. Do a slip knot and then chain 22. In that 20 second chain so this first one here that you've just finished I'm going to do three half double crochets in that stitch. So that's one going into the same stitch, two and going into the same stitch again, three and then into each stitch until you get to the last stitch we're doing another single half double crochet in each stitch. To this last stitch we're going to do three half double crochets in that one stitch. Three. And then we turn around and into the first stitch we put a half double crochet in each stitch. And this should be opposite the previous row you did. should bring you back to where you did those first three stitches at the end of the chain. Now if you would like to use a stitch marker so you know where this is, then place a stitch marker into your last stitch. How many stitches you have in the middle here just depends on what you would like and how big your bag you would like to make it. So at the moment this is 19 stitches between each side. If you want to make it larger, just make your chain larger. The ending is always going to be the same. It's just the amount of stitches in the middle that will make the size of the bag. So it's purely up to you what you would like to do there. So now we've come back to the corner and what we are doing is see your three stitches there. One, two, three. We are now putting two half double crochets in each of those stitches. So there is stitch number one and we're going one, two in that one stitch. There's stitch number two, we're going one, two in that stitch and there's stitch number three, one, 
two in that stitch and then we do our half double crochets all the way down till we meet the other end where we started doing the curve at the other end. Now we are at the three stitches down the other end so we start by two half double crochets in this stitch, two half double crochets in the next stitch and two half double crochets in the third stitch. And now we do our half double crochets all the way down till we meet our stitch marker. This next round, our second round of increasing, we are going to be concentrating on doing all our increases in those increases from before. So you can see here, there's our two stitches in the one stitch before. So you know you're on the right track if you do your two stitches in and above the previous increase of the two stitches. So we're starting out with two half double crochets in this one stitch, then a single half double crochet, and then two half double crochets in the one stitch, and then a single half double crochet, and then our third two single half double crochets in the one stitch and then our single half double crochet and now we do all our half double crochets right down to the next corner where we repeat and do exactly the same thing so I'm up to the other corner and just to repeat what we did before here's my increase and I'm going to put my two half double crochets in the one stitch followed by one in the next stitch, followed by two in the next stitch, followed by one in the next stitch, followed by two in the next stitch, followed by one, and then we do our half double crochets all the way down back to our stitch marker. And to our stitch marker, now it, do remember to move your stitch marker up if you are using one. Now this is round three of our increase and this time what we're going to do is two, one, one, two, one, one. So two into our previous increase stitch and then one half double crochet, one half double crochet and two in our previous increase stitch. So one, two, half double crochets in that stitch followed by one half double crochet, two half double crochet, two half double crochet in this stitch, remember on top of the previous increase, one half double crochet, two half double crochet, and then two half double crochet in the one stitch, and as you can see, you can see them lining up there and then your one half double crochet and then continue down half one half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the other end where we, we will repeat the same thing and here we are at the other end so let's go two half double crochets in this stitch which is that increase stitch one half double crochet second half double crochet in single then two in this stitch one, one, two, one, and then all half double crochets till you get back to the stitch marker. The stitch marker and we are on round four and round four is going to be two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. So two half double crochets in this first stitch above your previous increase, then one, two, three stitches with one half double crochet in it, then two into this stitch, and then one, two, three, 
and then two into this stitch one two followed by one and then half double crochets all the way down till you get to your next increase where we're going to do exactly the same thing now we're at the other end so we're going to repeat the same thing two half double crochets in the top of the previous increase then one two three then two half double crochets in the top of the previous increase stitch and then one two three and then two half double crochets in the top of the previous stitch one half double crochet and then we're going to half double crochet all the way down to back to the stitch marker we go we have finished all of our increase rounds to start our bag going up if you would like to make it a wider then just keep doing exactly the same thing so if you went to round five it would be two half double crochets in that increase there followed by so in round five would be two one 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 so four single half double crochets between the two half double crochet in increase so it would be two one 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 two one 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 two and then your single half double crochet and then continue down the end repeat it at the other end if you go another round round six then it would be two one 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 so five increases in between your two half double crochet increase so it would be two one 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 two one 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 two and then a single and then can continue going hopefully that all makes sense and now we'll go back to the black and purple bag that is my increase done for the bottom so I'm going to stop here I'm doing this as a um, a notions kind of bag to put wool and crafts and stuff in so I'm going to stop there with my increase um, but what I am now going to do is just do five more rounds of half double crochet in each stitch because I want to make this bottom about eight centimeters high and um, that this is four centimeters so I'm going to do another five rows to make it eight centimeters and then we're going to change color all right so I'm going to work my four my five rows of half double crochet just in the round not increasing this time and I'll meet you back here after those uh, five rows when you have finished your five rows you now need to make sure firstly that you finish in one of the corners because you're going to join your next color in the corner if you join in the middle it's going to look a bit funny so make sure you finish in one of the corners and then um, cut the yarn off of your first color and bring your second color in so what you need to do is do half of your half double crochet so you've got all your loops on the hook drop that yarn bring in your new yarn and then just slip that through tighten off with your first yarn and then start your half double crochet now I just put this old the old color lay it across so I can just do my um, half double crochet straight over that and that saves me sewing it in later so work 20 rounds of this second color and then after those 20 rounds meet me back here and I'll show you how to do the pattern work which we are going to do bubble stitch now we have finished our 20 rounds of uh, plain half double crochet I'm now going to do several rounds of what I call bubble stitch I'm not 100% sure what it's called but I call it bubble stitch and so this is so we can have a decorative panel coming across about this far 
if you don't want to do a decorative stitch then just do the next five rows instead of the decorative stitch just continue going up so my decorative stitch is going to take five rows to do if you want more than one lot of decorative stitch so I have made a bag where I've done the decorative stitch down here then done several rows about I think it was about 10 rounds of half double crochet and then a second lot of decorative stitch uh, you're more than welcome to do that and you can play around with whatever stitches you want or you can follow along and do this stitch here I like the bubble stitch it's quite fun so you can see that I've finished off where I started at the corner here I finished off and what I need to do now is I need to work from the inside so that your bubbles stick out and if you did it from the front your bubbles would stick in so what you need to do is chain one and then turn your work inside out you can actually physically turn the bag inside if, if you want or just sit it so that your bag is facing you're seeing the inside but it's facing outwards I hope that makes sense okay to do your bubble stitch grab a yarn go into the stitch grab a yarn pull it through grab a yarn and only go through the first two on your hook yarn over go back in to the same stitch grab a yarn pull it through grab a yarn and pull through the first two on your hook and sometimes you go I it can be really easy to go too far so just making sure you've got two grab a yarn and go into the same stitch for the third time grab a yarn pull it through and this time you're grabbing the yarn and going through all the five loops on your hook the next stitch is a single crochet the next stitch is a bubble stitch so yarn over go into the stitch grab a yarn pull it through grab your yarn pull through the first two on the hook yarn over go back into that stitch grab your yarn pulling through grab your yarn pull through the first two on your hook yarn over go back into the stitch for a third time grab your yarn pull it through and this time grab your yarn and go through all five loops on your hook next stitch single crochet and when you turn it back around and having facing you you can see you're starting now to create the bubbles and they'll keep popping out as you go around and it's that single crochet in between your bubbles that makes a pop so this whole row is one bubble stitch yarn over and you just remembering to go into your same stitch three times and then the next one is a single crochet now if you want to make your bubbles fatter then keep going in there a multitude of time like four times or even five if you want it really fat but just remember you're going in to that stitch so if you're doing it three times then go into that stitch three times And then the next stitch is your half double uh, sorry your single crochet so one last time one and go through the first two two go through the next two three go through all of them and then a single crochet so there we go there are some bubbles so I'm going to leave you to finish off this round and I'll meet you back here and I'll show you what we do next the last two stitches so it should be a bubble stitch two three and then a single crochet and then that should marry you up with the bubble stitch that you started with so just slip stitch up the top Oh, 
myself Ooh. there we go chain one turn your work and then you're doing a half double crochet in the top of each stitch for this round now doing a half double crochet in the top of a bubble stitch is really simple so there's the bubble and the stitch at the top so just go straight in there and do your half double crochet okay when you finish this round I'll show you how to start your next round of half of uh, bubble stitch when you come to the end of that round slip stitch into the top of the first stitch of that round chain one turn your work now starting off our first stitch as a bubble stitch two three and then a slip stitch and then a bubble stitch one two three and then a slip um, slip stitch single crochet sorry Ugh. <laughs> and then this is the point where I turn it back around and make sure my bubbles are lining on top of each other because it is very easy to um, miss where you're starting and then get it so that it's not lining up but I've got it lined up if you intend not to line them up and you want them being hold on let me see if I can show you jagged so the bubbles go in between each other which is another pattern you could do I hope you get what I'm showing you there so you can have them going opposite in between the gap that's absolutely fine just make sure that your next row your next bubble starts here if you want them lining up so I'm going to line mine up then just make sure your bubble is sitting on top of the other bubble okay so I'm going to continue doing this row then the next row is your um, half double crochet row and remember you've got to turn your work and face it towards you when you do your half double crochet and then I'm going to do a third row of bubble remember I'm doing that from the inside so turn my work again remember you need to also chain one at the beginning of each round and then I'm going to finish off with um, a half double crochet and I will come back to you at that round so that I can show you what we need to do next when you have finished your three rows of bubble stitch make sure that you end off a row of half double crochet so you should have your bubble stitch row half double crochet bubble stitch row half double crochet bubble stitch row and then half double crochet now at this point we are going to finish with our purple and we are now going to change color so snip that off and change color back to the black which I've got all tangled up so go straight into the next stitch grab a yarn sorry start again yarn over straight into the next stitch grab a yarn pull it through and then get your other yarn pull that straight through the loops on your hook and then just proceed to crochet five five rounds of half double crochet in your black and when you've done your five rounds I'm going to meet you back here and we're going to do the handles when you have finished your five rows we've finished with the bag itself so now what we're going to do is um, snip off the end and just slip stitch into the last stitch and pull and we'll sew that in and now let's start on the handles now it is time to make the handle so I've already done one handle and that's how it's uh, going to go. There we go so 
I'll show you how to do the other one. So grab your tail and make it really long because that's what we're going to sew it onto the bag with. Do a slip knot and then chain six. Two, three, four, five, six. And then we are going to do a half double crochet into the back of the stitch. Mm -hmm. So there's the loop and we grab the yarn and pull it through. Grab the arm, pull through the three. And so in each loop, do a half double crochet and that should bring you to five stitches in total. Two, three, four, and five. And then chain one and then you're just doing half double crochet in each stitch so therefore you should have five stitches on each row and you just need to repeat this 45 times now obviously if you want a longer strap so it can hang down further or it can cross over your shoulder then just do more rows um, I found 70 rows works out really well if you want one that crosses over your shoulder so you can um, yeah so continue doing your 45 rows and I will meet you back here when you have finished your 45 rows once you have done your 45 rows leave a very long mm -hmm. tail because that's what we're going to use to sew onto the bag and then just pull it straight through. I've already sewn on the first handle and what I did was just placed it on the bag to where I thought it would look even and then I counted from the corner in to make sure I had the right even amount of stitches so I kept, and then I did the same on the other side so I placed it and then I went to eight and it was eight and put a stitch marker in to mark it so like like so join the two together then I made sure from this corner that I counted eight and placed the stitch marker in there then because they're both I joined with the stitch marker my handle and then I just sewed it on now repeating the other side turn over get your handle now make sure you have your handle preferably with your ends facing out but it really doesn't matter it's just because I'm sewing from that end because I'm counting my stitches in but now that you've got your first handle there it should be really easy to place your second now make sure it's not twisted so you want to get your handle so it goes around not twisted and place it like so and then I'm just going to double check I've got eight one two three four five six seven eight excellent so I'm just going to stitch mark it on to like the two together like so and then I just double check on the other side one two three four five six seven eight fantastic so one two three four five six seven eight and then stitch mark that on like so and then you can proceed to sew on so make sure you're sewing from the inside not sewing on the outside so the seam is on the inside you can crochet the handle on if you like to I did it with another bag and it left a really big fat seam and um, 
yeah it was a pretty obvious so I was like oh I'll, I'll sew this one now there is one tip that I'll see see how when I sewed it on it's gone a little bit indented there if that annoys you what I did wrong was I pulled too tight and so it's come in so just be careful about that when you do that and then you just simply proceed to sew it on and you can sew it on any which way you like it's going on the inside nobody's going to see getting the stitch marker out is another thing there we go and then I just match up my stitches and go backwards and forwards just however you like And as I said, just be mindful of pulling too tight. And then once I've done that, what I do is just go back through. And then slide it straight through. And just be careful not to pull too tight just end it off and repeat the same process on the other side And we have our handles, they are matched up, and there is our finished bag. And there we are everybody, well it's really really hard to fit this into the uh, shot, but there is our finished bag. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, if you have any questions about this bag, please drop a comment below happy to answer all your questions if you would like to see any other tutorials please go to my playlist of crochet tutorials i also got lots of other things on my um, youtube channel if you do make this and you do have any uh, photos i'd love to see them so share them with me on my instagram page at lucky underscore platypus one you can also visit me over on my website if there's anything that you um, like the stitch markers that you've seen and you'd like them uh, facebook page at lucky platypus or also on my website www.luckyplatypus.com.au well, have a great day, everyone. Hopefully, I'll see you again very shortly at the next tutorial at the She Shed. Bye, everyone!